Last week, we shared with you that $1.39 million federal grant and how it would help IU Health and IU School of Nursing address a specific nursing shortage. One of those sexual assault nurse examiners and the forensic nurses who handle rape cases, other sexual assault cases, and they even do more stabbings and things like that. Joining me this morning to dive deeper into how beneficial this grant is, is IU Health Forensics Coordinator, Natalie Kalo, and IU School of Nursing Faculty and Wellness Coach, Paula Reese, to talk a little bit more about this grant, how it's gonna help, how much it's needed. Let's start with that and talking about the need for forensic nurses, um, what you used to do too, and now you oversee in a lot of cases, how much is this needed? How can you describe it? There is an intense need. There are so many um, opportunities to provide care for this patient population. Mm -hmm. um, we are um, so excited to be able to be part of the solution yeah. and to um, be able to train nurses to do this work. Yeah, Natalie, this is something that you've been doing for a long time and mm -hmm. we were talking in the break of just how special um, you have to be and I know that you're like hey this is my job but thank you first of all for what you do mm -hmm. what do you want people to know that are watching and the importance of why you're here to lend a voice to something that's so needed yeah is very needed um, sometimes victims have to travel a couple of hours for an exam that should never happen in Indiana um, we should have forensic nurses scattered everywhere and we're seeing more out-of-county sexual assault so they have to travel sometimes to Indy so we want to bring awareness that you can become a forensic nurse and we're here to help you mm -hmm. and teach you and um, uh, get more forensic nurses out there in the workforce. Yeah, we've, I'm looking at a stat here that just this year, 480 sex crime related cases and the impact that's having, I can't imagine having to drive two hours to go see someone like yourself after you've just been through that trauma. Yeah. What mm -hmm. I was asking to you in the break because you know, nurses that are thinking about, like, I don't know if I could do this because of what you see and how you have to deal with that. It's part of what you do, too, as a wellness coach, to actually help people and nurses deal with what they see. Can you explain a little bit of that? So one of the opportunities we know that we have is that nurses who take this training don't last long. Yeah. You know, it's too much. And so... Um, so this is a sort of a novel and unique approach that we're going to introduce coaching mm. right away. Okay. So, uh, and so there's two things that will happen with that. One is that we'll be able to take care of our nurses mm. who are taking care of these patients. And second of all, we can role model what wellness looks like mm. so that they can help their patients with some wellness as well. Excellent. We have about 30 seconds left or so. What's the final thing that either one of you can take here on what this grant is actually going to do, how this million dollars will actually be used in our community specifically to help? We're going to offer a lot of different trainings and would really like to see nurses uh, sign up. Yeah. Uh, to, and it, all they need to do is apply we will um, talk to them about what they're applying for yeah. and uh, make sure it's a good fit for them. Natalie? Yep. Yeah. And um, any nurse can do this if you've had a couple of years experience. We'd like to see uh, us train over 300 in the next three years nurses um, so that victims don't have to travel wow. far for an exam. Okay. So. 300, three yes, years, we can do it. Challenge. We can do it, come yeah. on. You can head to fox59.com slash links, learn more about this federal grant, the program, again, trying to train these 300 forensic nurses in the next three years. If you wanna be a part of that, wow, hats off to you. And hopefully more people will come forward. Bless you. you guys are awesome, thank you.